today I'm gonna review this beautiful car 2020 Kia Forte GT and it's so popular especially in LA right now because it's super cheap and it's super nice inside and outside and it's a white color I do like it a lot and the people who buy it they do love it also so as a GT what are we gonna get we're gonna get those 17 inch nice rims they're a little bit different color sometimes they're black sometimes they're gray the rocker panels on the side they look so cool it is a gt one and it's not a regular one and i know the cost of it each panel from the dealer wholesale price it's 800 dollars. in my opinion the kia doing so good on the u.s market first of all if you are the original owner you're gonna get 100,000 miles powertrain warranty mercedes don't have one bmw they don't have one even the toyota they're not providing the one so that's why the market it's so hot for those cars for Hyundai or Kia because nobody else doing that 100,000 miles on a brand new car if you are the original owner the engine on this car it's a 2.0 not turbo but it's a new engine which is kind of famous and they install it everywhere on the Hyundai on the Kia and I think so this engine first time I see it on the 2017 Hyundai Elantra and when I open the hood on this car first time I see it's exactly the same engine why do we change it they didn't change it because it's improved it's super good it's good on gas it's good on power and it's not making a lot of problems for the customers maybe just a little bit like misfire the coil you can get it from ebay for 15 dollars and you price it yourself that's it you, you eliminate the problem right away so as a gt design on this car not only the side rocker panels we're gonna get we're gonna get rear and front bumper different one we're gonna get the spoiler on the trunk in a black color because it's a white car the led lights i think only gt has led lights on the back regular one doesn't have one so on the bumpers you can see the lips the lips are different it's a gt one the front one the back one it looks so good so cool the design of this car for such a small and not expensive car is so cool that lip on the trunk it's black the antenna on the top it is a black and the mirrors on this car it is a black because the car is white there is a lot of black pieces you can see on the front and rear bumper and i think the design of it is such a cool for this car so it is a basic car for your basic daily needs and it doesn't have any cool features like the bmw you're gonna lock the doors and all the windows gonna lock you're gonna open it all the windows gonna open no it's not for that one it's for for the simple use you just open the door you sit inside start it up and you're driving it wherever it needs to go and the cool thing about this car if you pass by the oil change for example it's a due for 5000 you can drive up to 9000 and i believe me i i did it myself and it works so instead of 5000 do it for 9000 miles and nothing gonna happen i mean if you're gonna go more that's your responsibility but again i did it before nothing happened with the car so the front of the car if you're gonna compare a regular kia Forte 2020 with 2020 gt you're gonna see a lot of difference especially on the front there is a grill different there is a front bumper the bottom lip even the fog lights on this car is a little bit different than the regular one the regular one i think they don't have one but again the grill is so nice it has a chrome part it has a black and inside of it it has a red pieces which it looks so nice uh if we're talking about gt cheap car for daily usage so as i say the the engine it's just a regular engine which has come from 2017 Hyundai or Kia Forte and it's kind of durable in my opinion it doesn't need a lot of money to spend on uh, but again if you're gonna get some knocking problem and your mileage is kind of low or you're still under the warranty the dealer just gonna replace it for free there is some other parts am I gonna be broken or am I gonna need the attention as a motor mounts as a coils like I say maybe filters maybe thermostat sometimes but it's super rare I never see the alternator going bad on that or the starters or injectors or something like that electrical problem it just illuminated from the factory i don't know why but this car never had any problem for me with any electrical things so if you're going to get gt forte with 1.6 turbo engine when you pop the hood you're going to see right away there's going to be a huge sign of a turbo 1.6 t or 1.6 turbo something like that on the back of the engine you're going to see the turbo right away and huge shield on it this car doesn't have it means it's a 2.0 natural inspiration engine without uh, turbo if you want to compare 2.0 and 1.6 turbo and you're thinking 1.6 is going to save you a lot of money for the gas you're wrong because 1.6 turbo has turbocharger which is going to burn more gas just to give a car go one of the main thing for june 2023 that's a catalytic converter and i know kia right now not just only target for being stolen 
It's also a catalytic converter. But again, people not so smart enough. They doing two-way catalytics. They trying to cut the muffler or cut on the back. But the catalytic converter itself, it's sitting right here. So as always, we're gonna check the trunk compartment in this car. It's pretty huge. I mean, if you compare with even the, the, the Prius or Subaru, it's much better. I can go inside and lay down, maybe sleep for a while. Nobody gonna notice I'm there. So besides that, you can pull the seats and fold it down. And you're gonna have a lot of space to put some furniture. So one of the interesting thing about the Kia or Hyundai, sometimes it has spare, sometimes it's not, but especially this car has none of that. None of, none of the, it doesn't have spare tire or it doesn't have any uh, air pump which is supposed to be i don't know why because probably because this car came from the auction and somebody already have it but not, not me if you want to choose this car as a family car you might gonna do so because first of all you might gonna put the stroller in the trunk it has a loft space for that even two of them you can still put it inside the car you can see there is a design for two seats but it has a middle seat belt so which is supposed to be by low there it is there and you're gonna put two child seats not a problem but the third one you're not gonna even squeeze it so if you do have two kids you want to get something economy you want to get something cheap on gas and really reliable you can go anywhere you want to go without any problem and you have two kids up to two kids you're gonna choose this car if you're gonna have three kids don't even think about it just keep the car as a spare one day you might gonna use it or if not gonna use it you're gonna sell it and believe me this car gonna hold the value even after two or three years from now it's still gonna be desirable on demand car as of right now the front passenger in this car same as the driver it is gonna be really comfortable because the seats and the gt it's super nice i do like it i do love it a lot for this car it has a lot of adjustable things and you can reach any pocket you want plus if you want to go on the back and check your kids while you're driving you can do so not a problem so design inside it's super nice it has a lot of different things which is attracting my vision first of all there is a lot of aluminum one on the shifter on the steering wheel on the dashboard the screen which is right now famous and popular on all other cars like the like the bmw toyota honda all of them has the same one they put them in the middle of the screen only the audi trying to hide it still and it going inside the dashboard this car not but in my case the backup camera is still not working and i have to fix it or i have to check it out at least why it's not working maybe to buy one so as i'm driving this beautiful ford gt 2020 what i can tell about the interior of this car so first of all what you can tell that's the dashboard it's completely redesigned if you want to compare with previous body so those air vents the one on the side it looks like mercedes style for me or some of the cool car which is not kia it's cool so what do we have here that's the central display it has a backup camera which is not working for some reason okay that's fine we do have a usb and some climate control which is manual i don't know why gt because all the gts i did see it has a climate control the the digital climate control not the manual one but this one has a manual one so we do have a nice seats it's a combo between leather and cloth we do have nice steering wheel leather and it has gt so it has some straight part on the bottom it feels like you're in a sport car but you are not so this car has 2.0 engine which is the old one redesigned and ooh, famous for the piston slap making a lot of noise it has extended warranty but not especially for the, this model yet maybe it's gonna come but for the previous one forte uh, kia soul and some other one elantras 1.8 2.0 same engine a little bit different on the valves but it's a famous for the noise is it comfortable to drive this car yes it is is it nice to handle it yes it is plus on the top of it you can adjust your steering wheel because it's electric one so you can do it a little bit harder or a little bit comfortable which is going to be slower to spawn and so soft to turn left and right performance of this engine it's just none same as the previous one is it good on gas yeah it's really good on gas especially if you're driving in an eco mode transmission works really good it's shifting fine there is no problem no delays if you're going to step all the way to the floor you're going to feel that 200 horsepower 
So in my opinion, who's buying those cars? I'm the one who's buying those cars. But again, I'm buying those cars for the reason. That number one, that's I'm buying for the people who wants to buy it and drive it daily. Again, as an Uber driver, as a food delivery guy, or somebody who's just going back and forth to the work and don't want to spend a lot of money for the gas. That's the car you're going to buy. What about the price range for this car? They goes between 50 and 20,000. For the used one, 2020, depends on the mileage. This car has 77,000 miles and it goes for about 18, 19,000 with clean title. So is this car good on gas? Yeah, like I say, this car really good on gas. Plus you do have a lot of drive mode, so you can do the sport mode, which is activating something. You can see on the dashboard, there's a smart mode, drive, drive mode smart. So smart, I'm assuming it's going to be eco mode, has no performance, no power, AC working really slow, like you don't have one, but you're saving a lot of gas. I don't know how much, a lot, but a lot. So plus this car has a blind spot. Since this car, GT version, it has a blind spot assistance, it has a line keeper. You can turn it off and on. Oh, it's a traction control. Interesting. Normal, normal mode, smart, sport. So if you want to choose something between all those three modes you have available, there is a normal, sport and smart. I would say drive normal all the time. It's going to give you something in the middle. Sport mode doesn't make any sense. Echo mode is super slow car. It's super slow EC. If it's really hot outside, it's not going to work for you for sure. So just use a normal way to drive this car and you're going to save money and time. Maybe you're going to save yourself from being overheated. As we're driving the GT version, this car has a black uh, headliner, which is super cool inside. I'm not feeling I'm driving super cheap Kia. I'm feeling like I'm driving something much nicer, maybe closer to K5, but it's not the K5. It is a Forte and it's super cool for its own money. So this car has a smart key. I got two of them, which is super rare when you can get in the car from the auction. Smart key, so you can even start the car by holding the button. It has a push start button. And right now, especially, it's super important because till 2020, all the Kias, all the Hyundais, right now in June 2023 in LA, they they've been stolen every day. So the people, what they're doing, there is a, like Sharif told me, there is a TikTok challenge uh, to try to steal the car. So basically what they do, if you do you not have a smart key, you have a manual original one, simple key. So key is a lantern, they taking the col steering column apart, they taking the lock, ignition lock apart, and they just using USB cable. I don't have one to show it to you. So they using USB cable to plug it in and start the car and they film it on TikTok. That's something really, really crazy in 2023. But again, since we do have a start and stop engine, smart key and the push button, they're not going to steal it one. So probably you're not going to see this car on TikTok. So at the end of this video, what I want to say, I want to say this, we're still in the same spot where the U-Haul trucks on the back and this car is so simple as a U-Haul truck. You just come in, you just start it up, you just driving wherever you have to go. You do your things, you come back, you turn it off, you keep it overnight. In the morning, you're going to repeat again and repeat again and repeat again. After a couple of years, you're probably going to repeat the same again and nothing going to happen with the car. Would I buy this car? I already bought one. And the interesting point, I want to buy more of those just to keep them. To keep why? Because I have some other things to do. I do like it. And I would buy something maybe cheaper, not a GT, because even the GT right now, even the used one, it costs money at the auction, believe me or not. It's a simple car. It's super nice. It looks cool. Uh, it has a lot of space for me and for whatever I'm doing. It's so simple to use. It's cheap on maintenance. And also this car would stay on the market as a demand just because it's super reliable. It is kind of durable and a lot of people want it. There is a lot of reason I told you why they want it and I want more just because the key improving itself every year. And I think maybe five years from now, it's going to be much better brand and much more warranty on this car. And people are going to keep buying those instead of buying something for the brand.
not for the quality of this car. If you compare the other cars, like cost of this car used on new and the other one 2020 right now on the market, for example, this car 2020 GT, you might gonna find it for 16, 17, thousand used one about 60 70 thousand miles right so what would you compare with 16,000 and 2020 probably nothing or if you were gonna go to the Toyota you can buy 2015 Corolla with hundred some thousand miles and it's gonna be SE or S if we're gonna compare with Toyota Prius again you're gonna buy 2016 Prius for 16 17,000 with about 130 140 thousand miles on it uh, I would say go with Kia again. If we check in the BMW or Mercedes or other brand, there is nothing to buy even close to that here. Even 2015 BMW Mercedes in great condition, they cost much more. So 15,000 on this market right now can buy a Corolla 2015 or 2016 Prius, or it can buy you Ford GT, which is my choice for sure. So you can like it, you can dislike it. You can put some comments below. I might gonna answer later on, might not. Uh, we'll see how the thing's gonna go. But again, I do appreciate your time. You're watching this video and I do appreciate your likes and comments. Thank you so much, guys, and see you soon again.